Welcome back to the Learning Corner channel, the place where knowledge is power and sharing it becomes our superpower. We're thrilled to have you with us today as we embark on an enlightening journey into a topic that's often misunderstood, yet is a cornerstone of our overall well-being, mental health. Today, we'll be unraveling the complexities of mental health, discussing the importance of setting mental health goals and sharing practical tips to maintain these goals. So sit back, grab a cup of tea or coffee, and let's get started on this journey of understanding, acceptance, and self-improvement. Remember, every step towards understanding mental health is a step towards a healthier, happier you. Do you ever stop to consider the state of your mental health as you do your physical health? It's a question that begs reflection, isn't it? As we navigate through the intricate labyrinth of life, we often overlook one essential aspect, our mental health. It's as vital as our physical health, if not more. The significance of mental health isn't merely about the absence of mental illness. It's a misconception that needs debunking. Mental health encompasses our emotional, psychological, and social well-being. It influences how we think, feel, and act. It also helps determine how we handle stress, relate to others, and make choices. Imagine a well-tuned instrument producing harmonious melodies. That's what mental well-being feels like a symphony of balanced emotions, clear thinking, and healthy social connections. It's not just about dodging mental disorders, it's about flourishing in life, despite its challenges. Mental health, thus, is a fundamental aspect of our lives that requires our attention and care. But how can we take care of our mental health, you may ask? The answer lies in setting mental health goals. It's a powerful practice that can steer us towards a healthier, happier state of mind. Mental health goals, much like any other goals, give us a sense of direction. They provide a roadmap to navigate the often complex journey of mental wellness. Whether it's incorporating mindfulness exercises into your daily routine or seeking professional help, these goals can be as diverse as we are. By setting these goals, we're actively taking charge of our mental well-being. This proactive approach not only helps us manage stress, anxiety, and other mental health challenges, but it also improves our overall quality of life. Imagine having a toolbox, and each goal is a tool that equips us to build a resilient mind. Remember, every small step counts in this journey. Setting mental health goals is a proactive step towards achieving mental wellness. So, how can one set achievable mental health goals? The first step is to be specific. Instead of saying, I want to feel happier, try to pinpoint what happiness means to you. It could be, I want to spend at least 15 minutes each day doing something I love, or I want to have at least one full day each week where I don't feel overwhelmed. Once you've defined your goals, make them measurable. It's important that you can track your progress to stay motivated and make adjustments as necessary. If your goal is to reduce anxiety, for instance, you might measure your progress by the frequency of your anxiety attacks or the severity of your symptoms. Now, this brings us to the next point, attainability. It's crucial to set goals that are challenging yet achievable. Setting unrealistic expectations can lead to disappointment and demotivation. If you're aiming to reduce stress, for example, it's unlikely you'll be able to eliminate all stress from your life. A more attainable goal might be to develop healthier coping mechanisms for stress, like meditation or regular exercise. Next, ensure your goals are relevant to your overall well-being. If your goal doesn't align with your values or long-term aspirations, it's unlikely you'll stay committed to it. A goal to start journaling every day, for example, might not be relevant if you don't enjoy writing or find it therapeutic. Finally, make your goals time-bound. Setting a timeline adds a sense of urgency and can help you stay focused. But remember, it's okay to adjust your timeline if you find it's not working for you. In addition to these tips, consider including both short-term and long-term goals. Short-term goals can give you a sense of achievement and momentum, while long-term goals can guide your overall direction and give you something to strive towards. Remember, the journey to mental wellness is a marathon, not a sprint. So be patient with yourself, celebrate your progress, and keep striving towards your goals. Setting goals is one thing, but how about maintaining them? Maintaining mental health goals is like tending a garden. It requires consistent care and attention. 
regular self-check-ins akin to watering your plants can be instrumental in this process. Ask yourself, are you feeling nourished? Are you getting enough sunlight, enough rest? But remember, you're not tending this garden alone. Reach out to your loved ones, your support network. They're your gardeners, ready to lend a hand when the weeds of stress and anxiety grow too thick. And when setbacks occur, as they often do, be gentle with yourself. Just as a seed doesn't sprout overnight, neither does progress. It's okay if you stumble, if you have days when your goals seem like mountains. Remember, maintaining mental health goals isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous process, a journey. And like any journey, it's best taken one step at a time. Your mental health is a journey, not a destination. Take it one step at a time.